Uh, Mr. Chairman, I nominate the name of Frini Jinwala as Speaker of the House. Thank you. Bumsha, Pagani Swamakama, Abosopolo Tiki Bok Toma, Ebebayok Sebens and Gapasque Craig, Unel Sen Mandela, a Parliament of Toma, a democracy, a Sola Africa. I accordingly declare Dr. Frini Jinwala duly elected Speaker of the National Assembly. Dr. Echinoala obelikwe ta abu yabe mbigindaba. Gapam guguti abe ngusopolo tiki. Ushon chelwa ingondwa ke ebkali. Ungu spika wokthoma we parlamende e demokrasi. I deem it a great honor to be elected speaker of this the first democratically elected parliament of South Africa. Abasebe nzenaye kabinite ngame ngameru Nelson Mandela. Bambu genge sandla abe anaso ekloluwe nigo mteto segela wenaka. She did remarkable work in laying the basis for how the Speaker of the National Assembly should work and should operate. Dr. Ejinwala ukunjulwe ngomlando omuhle awuchiyileko lokha asese ngusipika. She was outstanding I must say. Yeah. When to to, to those who to, to us now when we look at parliament well naturally in many cases you, you do have that thing of trying to, to, to compare the people. The character of this assembly must become the voice of the people of South Africa. In the market, the general speaker of Toma on Gumon Zima, Yakuta Zabuma Baneng, Bonabatate in Kundazopata. You've got to change the work environment. We've got to make sure that women with family responsibilities are actually able to climb up that ladder. Owa mela mago eskulte nsogu wangu speaker. Umbugi ile wabe washoni pa umsebe nze au chiago. Dr. Jinwala was part of it all. She made her indelible mark. Dr. Jinwala, I salute you. Utebo na uzwagale lo mkosi woglala kwa tohtere freni Jinwala. Umenga melu sil ramaposa. Ushatulu leo tohtere Jinwala njengu mchocho zelewe kulego. Ekfuze ashoni chelwe uguzbo pelela. Egwa ke iseula Afrika engono. Dr. Jinwala was influential and instrumental in shaping the advancement of democracy and the entrenchment of democratic political processes and fundamental socio-economic rights in the Southern African Development Community and the continent at large. Comrade Freni Jinwala belonged to the generation of cadres who understood and could differentiate between the party, parliament as the legislature, the executive, and the judiciary. As we know, currently we no longer have such caliber of leaders. Condolences to the ANC, her immediate family, the continent, and the people of the world because Dr. Jinwala touched individuals in all over the world in many ways than one. She is indeed one of those few women who we can safely say that uh, they stood firm to ensure that South Africa was liberated. As former speaker, she had the gravitas to ensure that there was respect, discipline, and she protected the decorum of the National Assembly. We are shocked by the sad news of the passing on of former speaker of National Assembly, Mefrini Junwala. This is a huge loss, not only to her family, but to the entire country. <laughs>